start with breath awareness by bringing your hands first to your ribs. We live in a time where kids are st very stressed out, uh, teachers are very stressed out, and this is just a really good program that will help kids reset, help manage their stress. So I tend to lash out and forget everything that I've done. And yoga helps me with breathing, and breathing helps me to control myself. When I control myself, I can think. Your shoulders now, or over your wrist, or slightly beyond. Uh, social health, mental health, emotional, environmental, physical, and spiritual. And if you think about all of those aspects of health, this type of, of activity, this type of exercise, meets all of those. The best part is because I can just relax, and every time I come out of a stretch, I feel like relieved. I absolutely love the program, and I'm excited to use it in my classrooms. Um, kids come in with all these things of the outside, you know, home life, other classes. So I think if I can start this, maybe the first 15, 20 minutes of each class, that'll help them reset their mind and get them focused and locked in on what they need to be doing in my class. This should be incorporated into all high schools, middle schools. This should be done all over because it's well, well-being, mental health, uh, taking care of your body, and then find, trying to figure out, you know, what you can and can't do, your limitations. I have my mind wondering a lot of different things and it just helped me stay focused on one thing. I think anytime that we're doing things that make us more aware, more mindful, more in tune with ourselves, that gives us better abilities to build interpersonal relationships, that gives us better abilities to recognize the parts of our body that maybe need rest, that maybe need more work, that maybe need to be just used more often, right? That is it's transferable to all different aspects of life. I have a strong mind. Hands to your heart. I have a brave heart. Hands to the belly button. I have a wise body. Open your hands, your mind, and your heart. We all have a noble spirit.